The Maryland Terrapins won 19 games last year, lost a lot of talent, but are bringing in the number one recruiting class in the Big Ten at number seven nationally. Here's Mark Turgeon. And then we'll open the floor for questions. Nice jacket. Thank you. Yeah, love that. <laughs> Um, obviously, we're real excited about this year. It's a special year in uh, Maryland basketball. It's our 100th uh, anniversary of basketball, <clears throat> so we're going to celebrate uh, a lot throughout the season. Um, you know, going back Bud Milliken years, Lefty Drizel years, and of course <clears throat> Gary Williams in the national championship in 2002. So uh, it should be an exciting year for us and for our fans, uh, and we're going to we're going to do it right um, throughout the season. Uh, with that said, I think we've got a tremendous schedule, uh, non-conference schedule, and of course, the league schedule. Um, and, I, and I like my team. I, I think it's a team that uh, our fan base is going to love, um, come out and support us. Um, we're young, um, but my young guys are good. And uh, we have six freshmen. Uh, we have three sophomores, one junior and one senior. So we might be the youngest team I've ever had, but we're talented, uh, and they're fun to coach. And they're working hard. So uh, we're excited for the year. Um, and it uh, should be a really, really a, a fun team to watch um, because of their skill set and their length uh, and their ability to play together. So looking forward to coaching them. <clears throat> Thanks, Coach. We'll uh, now open the floor for questions. First row on our left. Coach Hondo Carpenter with Spartan Nation. Last year, Miles Bridges, when he returned, said it was ridiculous that NCAA rules prohibited him from spending extra time with Coach Izzo. I'm just curious, with the rules committee dominated by bureaucrats and no coaches, would you like to see coaches included as, who are making actual coaching decisions? I, I didn't see his comment, um, so I, I don't know what you're talking about um, with that. Um, I think they are doing some things where they're allowing us to be around our players more. Uh, we had four hours this summer instead of two, uh, which I thought was terrific. Um, so I hope I'm answering your qu question correctly. Um, and to be honest, it's a long season. Uh, it's probably nice to get a break every now and then from us. But uh, I think they're doing things to try to get us around our players more and, and coach them a little bit more. Gianna Marshall, SB Nation. Coach Turgeon, you have a tough non-conference late this year, including playing a veteran Loyola team that went to the Final Four last year. How do you feel about that game and having your young team play against a veteran team in Port of team? Yeah, uh, we're excited. We, we're going to play that game in Baltimore. Uh, we have two players on our team, Daryl Morcel and, and Jalen Smith from Baltimore. We'll be able to get them home um, and play there. Our fan base, we have a great fan base in the, in the city of Baltimore. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And um, I, I go way back with Porter, Missouri Valley days. Uh, when I was at Wichita State and he was at Illinois State, he's always been a great coach. Uh, so I was really happy for him last year. But it's a great game for us. We really tried to play a nice non-conference schedule. And, um, and to add that game into Baltimore is terrific for us. So hopefully by then my young team will be experienced. We'll have a few games under our belt. But, um, you know, we're looking forward to that challenge. <clears throat> Questions for Coach Turgeon. Hi, and Andy Seligman, Associated Press. Uh, Mark, just in general, um, what kind of an impact do you think the trial that's going on in New York will have on college athletics? Um, you know, I, I think our sport is, to be honest with you, in great shape. Um, we just talked about Lola Chicago, who went to a Final Four. I think we have great depth uh, throughout college basketball. It continues to grow. I think we have great coaching uh, in our game. Uh, I think we have some really great teams this year, three or four or five teams that are terrific uh, teams. Um, and so I like to think it's not going to have a big impact on our game. Once the games start, I think it's going to be another terrific year. Uh, for us, um, you know, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, I think, I think, besides what's going on in those courtrooms, I think college basketball is in great shape. Uh, 
Anything else for Coach? It's easy. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.